So, last news of the day before I let you guys go is the following. This is courtesy of Hypebeast, Jound, Justin Saunders, Jound Studios, whatever it may be called, Jound Atelier, I'm assuming, has put together the second, if I'm not mistaken, Vans collaboration. Um, they've now decided to go with a skate mid, which I'm a little bit meh, underwhelmed by, to be completely honest. It's not my favorite model that Vans have out there. Obviously, this is coming from the success of their Vans Old School, which was one of their better collaborations I've seen in recent years, one of the, maybe the best re recent Vans collaboration, especially considering how much they go for on StockX. I think everyone else thought the same as I did as well. So they decided to update the silhouette and go with the Vans Skate Mid. I'm not really a fan of the model. Like I said, I think the shape is a bit odd. doesn't really look that great on feet. Um, I think you Usually, if you're going to go with a skate high, just if you're going with a skate model, just go with a skate high. The mid is a bit of a misnomer. And if you're going to go with this shape, I think a half cab or a chucker works better. What's happened to chuckers, by the way? Why don't people make collaboration with chuckers anymore? They were probably one of the most um, often used shapes in terms of collaborations outside of Supreme. Obviously, they did loads of Vans chuckers, but it seems that no one does chuckers anymore. I wonder if it's to do with Vans phasing out that model, if it's to do with the consumers maybe not buying it as much, which I don't agree with because I think loads of people buy Vans chuckers out there. But I'm a big, big fan of Vans chuckers. It may be one of my favorite models outside of the half cab. But this is fairly great in terms of colorways. I like the all black, obviously, with the white sole. Um, you've got the sort of khaki slate colorway. Then you've got the classic olive i'd say from jound that's what you basically know them for with the contrasting laces on there so fairly decent looks here let's see if they've got any more information it's been um it's been just over four years really since the mysterious but popular imprint jound kicked off his footwear collaboration with vans with a trio of old school texas four years ago i didn't know that um all of which now find themselves priced over one thousand uh, on a secondary market following the foot similar projects imagine paying 1k for a pair of vans old schools let me actually see what they like jound uh jound uh vans because they're going for 1k on StockX. that is wild brother absolutely wild 1k the best color of course is the green or the brown actually the brown's pretty tight as well the brown definitely looks quite um old school and pretty, especially when it's got the little old school hang tag on it too um with the i think it's got jammed logo on it as well on the outside if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure if there's much iconography or branding on them or maybe there's one on the tongue it doesn't it shouldn't matter really but if you're going to pay the 1k on resale you'd want a little bit of a you know you want some embossing or something on the side there so yeah, this is the this is the green pair currently on StockX. um what does it go for here it doesn't really have a price in my size it looks like does it oh why is it it's gonna screen there but it was i think it was a thousand let's see if it loaded up ba, 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 ba. come on hurry up oh that's why for some reason it did that come on go away come on where are you it's like it's so hot there you go okay cool so not really have a price on these at the moment but what we have is these What's the price it went for? The last price, is, let's see here. View or ask. Obviously, in size 11 that I'm at. No available information, really? No way. So they've not sold any. That doesn't make any sense. View or bids. Okay? Yeah? That doesn't make any sense. How much are they going for? Bid, bid, bid. View, view, view. Yeah, let's go US or okay you can get a size view available sales uh size seven is going for 318 pounds still a lot to buy for a pair of vans right which look pretty basic in terms of colorways but it's really really nice and then you've got the browns of course which is this one they're going oh the browns are the most expensive one a thousand look at that that is wild last sales 406 pounds. okay maybe there's some discrepancy between the overall sales and the price of it but still um yeah let's go back to the text it says here uh da, da, da. following the photo projects with the likes of new balance and rebook the brand helmed by justin saunders appears to be reuniting with the anaheim based skate label as his teases forthcoming skate 
mid capsule. That's another thing too that I like what they're doing, similar to what Hiroshi Fujiwara, my idol, does, where he collaborates with various brands, right? I like this idea that he's basically done some because I'm assuming if Jown tries to do a Nike collaboration, they're gonna want him to sign an exclusivity deal, which is annoying. But I like the ability to be able to because I guess they're not competing brands, Vans, New Balance, and Reebok, so he's able to kind of do collaborations with each of them. Maybe that's why the dis maybe that's why they did the time. I don't know, but regardless, I would much prefer to have a brand and to be. Uh, have a studio or to be able to do collaborations with brands such as these as opposed to going straight for the big leagues and heading up the Nike Adidas. I'd much prefer to be able to do like a Vans, a New Balance, um, a, ho a, 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 a Mohoka, right? Or One One, um, or whatever, Timberland, do you know what I mean? Like do all these little other brands, footwear brands in that way, so that you have a far better portfolio and a range of products that you can offer up to your customers. And obviously um, different silhouettes and brands that you could basically align yourself with and use the resources of it's a really really cool way to do it i would think obviously you can have a relationship with one brand that can sponsor you going forward but i like this approach the montreal headquarters the ent um, entity took the id to unveil the impending capsule um alongside the caption title jjj van 2021 like the two per parties in inaugural batch the newest range also looks to involve three new styles including black brown and green colorways each take looks to be formed with a suede upper mid upper build sorry comes contrasted with exposed um white stitching both of the brown and green pairs are wiped up with white stripes so yeah definitely looking forward to them coming out they'll be hard to come by as per usual you probably have to buy them on the, i think the down site and then maybe some retail partners here and there but yeah great collaboration great collaboration just a shame about the model would prefer to have seen him in the chucker or like i said um a skate high just to be classic but hey i guess you have to kind of break in new models maybe that means that, that maybe this is an indication we're going to see loads more collaborations because whenever they re-debut or kind of you know um bring back models that they've tried to break into a market but it's not really popped off they always link up with a brand and then you see a whole avalanche of other collaborations come through too oh look what they did the laces they did the thing that i love look the detail that i love over over on the left hand side right something that only a sneakerheads would give a shit about but that lace there you see this bit this over on that bit on the left hand side and then on the right foot over on the right side oh it's such a simple detail but that would make all the difference for me in terms of purchasing them it really does i hate product shots where they just leave the laces like they come in the factory relace your shoes make the effort man and stop taking pictures of trainers with pin rolls all the time everywhere and people like balancing on things and about to fly it's just annoying sneaker photography is probably some of the worst photography that ever exists out there it's probably worse than maybe those you know photoshop uh, sorry those facebook studios that people go to you know the ones where the girls sit in the they sit like in a circle on it like you know what i mean like it's so horrendous but yeah this is so much better look at these little details that's what really matters that's what really matters but yeah big up jound um release soon come we've got a date here on hypebeast no idea what the date is check back to find out so yeah keep your ear to the ground